The ribbon, which was first introduced in AutoCAD LT 2009, contains icons for tools that have been grouped into tabs and panels. Each tab, such as Home, contains multiple panels, and each panel, such as Modify, contains multiple tools. This grouping means that it's always easy to see the tools you need for any given task without taking up too much valuable screen real estate. In AutoCAD LT 2010, the ribbon has been updated to provide greater flexibility, better access to tools, and consistency across Autodesk applications. When you drag a panel off the ribbon, it becomes a sticky panel. Sticky panels remain displayed even when a different tab is active. To return a sticky panel to its tab, select the option Return Panels to Ribbon. If you choose to undock the ribbon and display it in its vertical orientation, you will see that it has been updated to show the tab names along the side. The panel titles are turned off by default, but it's easy to turn them on from a right-click menu. If you customized the dashboard in AutoCAD LT 2008, you can easily convert your custom dashboard panels to ribbon panels using the Transfer tab of the CUI Editor. After the panels have been converted, you can drag and drop them onto a tab in the current CUI file or transfer them to a new CUIX file. Also improved in AutoCAD LT 2010 are contextual ribbon tab states, which are tabs that are displayed based on what kind of object is selected. For example, when I select a cell in a table, the Table Cell Contextual tab is displayed. You can also use the CUI Editor to customize the included contextual tab states to display the tab of your choice. For example, if you want the Home tab to be displayed when a circle is selected, drag and drop the Home 2D Ribbon tab to the Circle Selected item under Ribbon Contextual Tab States.